You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Micah chapter 1. And we'll be reading from the Christian Standard Bible. The word of the Lord that came to Micah the Morishite, what he saw regarding Samaria and Jerusalem in the days of Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Listen, all you peoples. Pay attention, earth, and everyone in it. The Lord God will be a witness against you, the Lord from his holy temple. Look, the Lord is leaving his place and coming down to trample the heights of the earth. The mountains will melt beneath him, and the valleys will split apart like wax near a fire, like water cascading down a mountainside. All this will happen because of Jacob's rebellion and the sins of the house of Israel. What is the rebellion of Jacob? Isn't it Samaria? And what is the high place of Judah? Isn't it Jerusalem? Therefore, I will make Samaria a heap of ruins in the countryside, a planting area for a vineyard. I will roll her stones into the valley and expose her foundations." All her carved images will be smashed to pieces. All her wages will be burned in the fire. And I will destroy all her idols. Since she has collected the wages of a prostitute, they will be used again for a prostitute. Because of this, I will lament and wail. I will walk barefoot and naked. I will howl like the jackals and mourn like ostriches. For her wound is incurable and has reached even Judah. It has approached my people's city gate as far as Jerusalem. Don't announce it in Gath. Don't weep at all. Roll in the dust in Beth Lephra. Depart in shameful nakedness, you residents of Shaphir. The residents of Zanan will not come out. Beth Ezel is lamenting. Its support is taken from you. Though the residents of Maroth anxiously wait for something good, disaster has come from the Lord to the gate of Jerusalem. Harness the horses to the chariot, you residents of Lachish. This was the beginning of sin for daughter Zion, because Israel's acts of rebellion can be traced to you. Therefore, send farewell gifts to Moresheth Gath. The houses of Axeb are a deception to the kings of Israel. I will again bring a conqueror against you who live in Mereshah. The nobility of Israel will come to Adullam. Shave yourselves bald and cut off your hair in sorrow for your precious children. Make yourselves as bald as an eagle, for they have been taken from you into exile. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege that it is to be able to look at your word together today. And Lord, as we begin our look at the book of Micah, we pray that you'd help us to understand what it means to walk with you and not embrace the things of this world that drag us in a direction that's apart from you. Lord, it wasn't your desire that the people of Israel or Judah live at a distance from you. Your desire was that they live in a strong relationship with you. And that's your desire as well for us. And so you've made it possible through faith in your son, Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, that since this is the case, that we would walk with you faithfully in all contexts of life that you place us in, and that we would glorify your name and that we would joyfully repent of anything unhealthy, unwise, or sinful that we've welcomed into our lives. Thank you, Lord, for continually showing us your love, and by your grace we pray that we would walk with you faithfully today. We commit ourselves to your care, and we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. What kind of difference would it make if you could spend the next 31 days of your life seeing yourself from God's eyes? My newest book, Dwell on These Things, will help you do just that. Every day our hearts and minds fill with messages about ourselves, about the world, and about God. 
Messages that we replay in our minds again and again. Some of those messages are accurate and helpful, but some are the exact opposite of the truths that the Lord wants us to embrace. In Dwell on These Things, I'm going to show you how you can replace feelings of discouragement with a sense of God's goodness. How you can practice seeing yourself in the loving way God sees you. How you can exchange negative self-talk for positive biblical messages. And how you can learn to face each day with hope in your heart. To pick up your copy of Dwell on These Things, please visit DesireJesus.com slash Dwell on These Things where you'll find links to order it from your favorite retailer.